Hello my friends, it's Caddy. I am going to share with you today uh, my December daily uh, supplies that I'm going to be using for my December daily album this year. Um, this is my first year ever doing a December daily. I've never done it before. I was kind of on the fence about it um, and then I was talking to my friend Christy, who's Christy's Beautiful Life. You guys might know I do my Obsessed series with her um, and she kind of just pushed me and, and you know said you have to do it. It's so fun, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> so thank you, Christy. <laughs> I just, I didn't want to get into a big project. Um, I know December is always so busy. Um, I'm going on vacation and I have a lot, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to start early, so um, I think that's going to be very helpful. So this is what my album looks like. Um, these are the, I believe, Studio Calico wood veneer numbers. And I think this is how I'm going to lay my my title I like that a lot so I think I'm gonna do that um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the numbers yet I might in Boston but I don't know we'll see I'm gonna have a video on that very shortly my album is a it's called American Crafts it's a modern album and it's a 6x6 six six D ring album that's my album it's this one I haven't glued these down yet I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I'm thinking of doing but I love these I saw Victoria Victoria Marie she used these on hers last year and I really really like it so I'm gonna use these on mine as well for this year and then this is the album it's all full of glitter because there's glitter in my stash and I'm sorry about my voice I know I sound horrible but I have a cold so I'm sorry <laughs> Uh, so this is the album. The pages are 6x6. Six six. I figured 6x6 six six is going to be something very manageable for me. I didn't want to do a big album because it's my first time. And I figure I'll just limit myself to, you know, one or two photos a day. And I think that should be fine. Um, I don't want to, you know, overwhelm myself. So I have some page protectors that already come in here. And I did purchase some additional um, page protectors for my album. So that is that. Um, I know for sure these Dear Lizzie thickers, which I love, um, these are from the new documentary line. I'm going to use these. I'm thinking of writing December in these because I just love these. These are, oh my gosh, one of my favorite thickers ever. So I'm going to use those. Um, so this is my album. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of show you what I have. I kind of just pulled together everything that I have uh, for Christmas. So I don't have a ton of stuff. I don't. I don't keep a ton of Christmas stuff, but I have enough that I should be able to get um, a nice album out of. I mean, I have stuff. <laughs> um, so first thing that is very important are the numbers for each day. I purchased these from Freckled Fawn um, probably a month or so back, month and a half, before uh, we started our freeze, our spending freeze in October <laughs> for the Victoria Marie Facebook group, and they're from Freckled Fawn. And they bring all 31 numbers. So I love these. I remember I saw a bunch of people using these on their December daily last year. And I love them. So I got them. And this is what I'm going to use for every day. So those numbers. Now I do have a ton of wood veneer. Um, which are like little Christmas trees. I have a little reindeer. I have snowflakes. I have, you know, this one that says snow. Uh, Santa. So I have a ton of wood veneer. Um, that I'm gonna use this is just all my December stuff and I have them in this bag so I'm gonna use these as well and I, of course if I need it I'll bring in some of my you know regular wood veneers so these wood veneers I'm gonna use for sure I'm gonna try to use up as much as I can of that now as far as paper goes I have I have this which I have the other half in there this is a uh, snowflake uh, die cut paper that I have and I've had this for a while and I haven't been able to use it, so this is falling. So let me get the other half. Here it is. So, so I know I want to use this in some kind of way, so we'll see. That's just a 12 by 12 that is cut up. These papers I just got from well, from an order that I um, that I placed on allscrapbooksteals.com. So I'm going to see if I can incorporate those and I'm thinking of keeping it in the re traditional red white and green perhaps so we'll see but um you know that's that's kind of what I'm thinking sort of like the neutrals red and green maybe so I have this peppermint paper pad which I've had for a long time by Cray Paper it's an older paper pad this is like I don't know, oh, 2012. This is older. But I have the paper patch, so I'm gonna see if I can use up some of this stuff for 
my December daily. So some really pretty papers in there. And they're not all like super Christmassy or super, you know, so like this. It's like um, mustard and pink, which I love. So I don't know. We'll see if I can make that. And this has a bunch of tags, which I love as well. And you could cut this up and make like six by six papers. So that's, I have that as far as paper goes. And then I have a few little sheets that I've had for a while, so I have these. These are really old. I don't know if I'll use this or not, but I'm just putting it in there to see if I can use it. I have this one by Crepe Paper, which is called Snow Day. This is from 2012 as well. And this one is more of a um, more of a childish Christmas album, but um, it has more of like the teals and pinks in it. Um, I love this gingerbread. So we'll see if I can use some of this stuff. So, Of course, the idea is you know, aside from creating a nice December daily album, the idea is to use up my stash. So um, that's why I didn't really purchase a lot of new things for this. So that's paper. And then the only other paper aside from that is going to be the 6x6 paper pad by Pink Paisley that I have, which is called Merry and Bright. And this one is from last year, 2014. And this one has a lot of stuff in there. It has a lot of gray and red and green so um, definitely intend to use that so this is all I have really as far as paper goes and I'm gonna see what I kind of work with with in, within that so we'll see that's my paper now for embellishments um, I'm gonna try to go whoops okay sorry an alarm sort of going off a car outside okay so anyway as I was saying um, embellishment so okay I want to show you just these stamps that I have which I'm gonna use um, these are my kind of Christmas stamps that I have um, and I have a reindeer too that I just bought so I'm gonna put that in here as well just got this um, well not just but recently so I have to put that in there so those are my stamps that I might use and now for embellishments I have I have these rub-on packs. This one just says Merry Christmas, Believe. This is like the white chalk kind of look. And then I have these, which bring a bunch of different ones. So I have those rub-ons. I have these, which are um, like vellum, vellum tape strips, which uh, kind of go with that color scheme, the red and the green. So those will be perfect. Um, I have these, which I just got. These I just got recently, these two. I only found one pack of these at Tuesday morning when I went, but I figure I could use them somehow. I got two packs of these because I really love these. These are super cute little um, stickers. They're like little puffy stickers. And they're super cute. So I really like those. Um, so I got that. Um, I got another pack of this because this was really cute. Um, and then I have everything in this little bag. So I'll just kind of show you guys. I have these. These I bought last year, American Crafts. Really, the only thing I bought this year was the album, the Freckle Fun um, numbers. And basically, this stuff right here is the only thing I bought this year. I don't think I bought... Oh, and that stamp. These. I haven't bought anything else new this year, so I'm doing really well. I have a bunch of stuff in here um, to use, and these are just embellishments. Like, this is a little reindeer charm. Uh, this is from Christmas last year, which I have to put in a Christmas album from last year. Um, I have these little buttons, which are little holiday buttons. They have little mittens and little snowflakes. Um, these are like ski and and um, uh, snowboarding. So when we go on our on our winter trip. Oh, I forgot about these. I've had these. I got these at Walmart. They were ninety seven cents. They're little stamps. They're like little cheap stamps, but I thought they were cute. So. Got those. I have some snowmen here, which I've had in my stash forever. I have this Santa, which I used uh, last year on a page, and I might use this one as well. This was like a flyer that came in the mail. Or not in the mail. It, it, I don't know. We got it somewhere. But I thought that was so cute. So I don't think I'll incorporate this in my December daily, but I have it in here. I have these gold pieces, which are really cute, which I've had as well for a while. Um, there's some wrapping paper in there and stuff. Here's some more of that snowboarding stuff. Some snowflakes. Here's some wood, um, wood, uh, what are they called? Little, 
clothespins. <laughs> and they have like a tree and really cute Christmas themed. And then I have some ribbon in here as well, which I can use. This is just wrapping paper that I have in here. I have these that I got last year as well, which are really cute. They're um, uh, metal. So these are really cute. So I might find a way to use those. They're kind of big and my pages are six by six. So I really can't go with really big embellishments, but you know, I can try. So this stuff in here is just like wrapping paper and stuff that I have to use. I have these little reindeer, which are super cute. So this is just like extra stuff that I have. And then aside from that, um, I do want to bring in some gold. So I have this gold fabric that I got at Joann's a while back. And I'm thinking I want to use it somehow. So we'll see. Um, I have this gold glitter tape. And I have this gold clear ribbon, which has little snowflakes on it, which is really, really pretty. Um, and then I have this red snowflake ribbon, which I see, I'll see if I can work in somehow. So yeah, so this is my Christmas stuff um, from here. Obviously, I'm not going to use everything. <laughs> um, you know, it's only 31 days and, and it's a very small album. But um, again, it's, you know, the idea is to use up most of my stash. And that's why I'm kind of really excited to do it. Because not only am I going to document the whole month of December, but I'm going to use up um, you know a lot of my stash or stuff that's in my stash that's been sitting here for a while again This is not a lot of stuff. I don't think this is a lot of Christmas stuff This is I think a good amount to work with. I don't think I'll be overwhelmed So it should be fun. I can't wait. Um, I'm gonna be back very soon with you guys to show you how I make my um, My album cover which I'm so excited to make I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do yet but I'm so excited to do it. Um, so stay tuned for that because that is coming very, very soon. I've been dying to do it. I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I wanted to record this video first, but I've been dying to, to make the album cover and see and, and kind of see where it takes me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will be back very soon. Thank you for putting up with my horrible voice that I have today. <laughs> if you've made it all the way through. So again, thank you, and I'll see you guys very soon, and I'm so excited about December Day of this year, so um, I can't wait to start. So I'll see you guys. Bye!